It was a reception here at Bozeman Yellowstone International Airport that the director described as a victory, not just for the airport, but for the surrounding area. That blue, yellow, and red plane there at the end of the gate, that is the first Southwest Airline plane to land here at Bozeman Yellowstone International Airport. Talking with Brian Springer, the director of the airport, he does tell me and confirm that this is one of the fastest growing airports in the entire country. With Southwest addition here as well, now there are two flights until early. Early June, at least, will they upgrade to four to Bozeman and Denver and Bozeman and Las Vegas. According to Springer, this flight makes a big difference to this airport. More than a decade in the making, uh, trying to get Southwest to Montana. We're happy to have them here in Bozeman. Now, representatives included Montana State University as well as the cheer squad here. They were greeting the plane for a special reason. Behind that cockpit, holding those flags out of those windows, were two MSU grads with quite the story and history of their own. We are extremely excited to welcome Southwest Airlines here. To Montana. It's been a dream for both of us for years. Sometimes I didn't think it would ever happen, but I guess sometimes dreams do come true. A dream involving parallel lives and the same tarmac. For Captain Dan Moe and First Officer Kirk Cluen, it's almost like looking in the mirror seven years apart. It just feels fantastic. It's kind of been full circle for us. We both learned to fly out here at this airport. And then we both did our first solo flights in the mid 80s out here on the same runway. Uh, it's just like a homecoming in a sense. A homecoming for both. Their lives leading to this moment with a Montana flag and an MSU flag flying out of their open windows on the runway. Well, you just have to hear it from them. Dan and I found out that uh, we flew together several years ago and Dan's wife also flies here as a pilot. It was amazing. My wife first flew with Kurt and she goes, you got to meet this guy. He's from Bozeman. I'm like, what? We got to talking and we realized that we grew up four blocks apart in Bozeman and we went all to the same schools. We graduated from Bozeman High, seven years apart. But wait, there's more. Uh, we went to MSU, both graduated from MSU and we both graduated from uh, ROTC up there and got commissioned in the Air Force. Even in the same detachment, while Dan served in Desert Storm, Kurt Iraqi Freedom, all tying both Kurt and Dan to the same airfield nearly 40 years ago. We were both Eagle Scouts in town and so pretty much everything we did in, in town, we did exactly the same just over a seven year period and we never knew each other here in town. Very few people you meet that you go through a, I say a whole career and you end up at the same place flying for the same company with the same interests, same background. A little weird, but uh, you know, <laughs> it all works out. And look, we're both back here. Kurt adds, it's a message. Spread your wings and it might be the best way to catch the wind and fly. Sometimes we have to go out and make our way in the world and then come back to town. And, and uh, if this is the place you want to be and this it's the only place I want to be. You hope you dream a little bit, uh, but really to see it come out on a great day, great weather. People uh, represent our great company. It's the uh, best thing out there. At Bozeman Yellowstone International Airport, Cody Boyer, MTN News.